First week of med school vlog. It's like 7.40 a.m. I have to be at school at 8, so as I do my makeup, I will be talking to y'all. Okay, so I'm starting my second year of med school. I'm just doing a very minimal look today. I've already met everybody there. I got nobody to impress. So y'all finna see me how y'all always see me. I'm just putting on brow gel now. Y'all wanna see how I do my makeup in like two minutes? This is how I do it. At eight, we have something called HUCM orientation, quote unquote. Do I know what that entails? Not really, but I will find out. How am I feeling? If I'm being honest, this is the least excited I have ever felt to start school. Because usually I'd be like choosing out my outfits the week before, laying out my bag the night before, and I overall just be excited for the new opportunities but honestly I'm just gonna try and have a positive mindset and think about how we move forward and I'm closer to becoming a doctor the year is gonna be tough it's always tough but nothing good comes easily this is the um, LA girl pro conceal that's running out so I'm squeezing really hard <laughs> to get some out I ordered a new one on Amazon but it hasn't come in yet okay this one is pretty close to my natural skin tone so I'm gonna go ahead and put this under my eye and when I fully do my eyebrows, if I'm not wearing foundation, this is also the concealer I use for my eyebrows. So now I'm going in with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I'm putting that on my beauty blender to blend out the concealer under my eyes. I did not eat breakfast, so I do hope they feed us. Last year they fed us for orientation, but I don't know if they care about the second years as much, but I think they do. I have a good feeling they'll feed us. See how brighter I look. I still have to pack my bag, but if y'all want to know what I'm bringing, I'll bring my laptop, my iPad, obviously, the chargers for them, my phone. I'll also bring one folder. I have things I have to give to someone in that folder anyway, so that's one way to help me remember how to get a folder. Oh, this is some blush by Revlon in the color Very Berry. Do I put blush without putting foundation? Yes. Next, I'm just going to highlight the inner corners of my eyes and nose with this. It's a highlight by e.l.f. It's severely broken. I've had it forever, but I'm going to still use it. I'm really not even trying for real. And then I'm going to put on mascara very quickly, pack my bag, and be out the door. This is the um, Maybelline Lash Sensational. And I don't think I mentioned, but the brow gel I used was the NYX Stick It Stick It. I actually like razored off this portion of this brow the other day, so I should probably like fill that in a bit. So I'm going with the... Um, Anastasia Beverly Hills pomade in ebony just to fill in that little area and with that we're done nice natural looking brows well, let me take down this hair tie should I just like wear this in a ponytail let me just put it in the back let me grab jewelry okay I'm gonna stick with the earrings and not wear a necklace today I'm here with my pretty roommate hey we really rushed out this morning. <laughs> yes, we were definitely rushing, but you know, we're still gonna make it. Or look at the sun hitting. But um, we still have to wear masks in school. The university no longer requires them, but as medical students, we still have to wear them. I'm wearing this silk top, floral bag, flare jeans, Air Force Ones. That's the fit, that's the vibe. <laughs> break now it's a little past 11 o'clock we had a whole lot of presentations <laughs> They talked about Title IX, like sexual harassment and stuff, research opportunities, what else did we talk about? Infection control and like demonstrating PPE. I feel like this is a lot of stuff we also did last year. I'll look at the schedule when I get to my apartment. I'm heading to my apartment because the break we have is like over an hour long. I'm just gonna go eat some food and clean and then come back at 12.15. Hello? What do you have to say? Um... <laughs> It's the first day of school. I want to say I'm happy to be back, but that's a lie. He looked like that video of, uh, what's his name, Derek Johnson or something, and his wife. And his oh! Wife. Looking stupid! <laughs> Continue though. Continue. Speaking. But yeah, yeah. So we have the exam, but it's cool. Like I already have plans after. I'm gonna see my mentee. 
I feel that, you know, just take it easy. Second year. We did it. We made it this far. Her friend who I don't name on my YouTube channel because he doesn't like it. You want to say anything? I'm sad. Sit around. You're already big. Okay, y'all, so I have today's schedule here. Um, we talked about financial aid, research travel requests, Title IX refresher, professionalism, OSHA regulations, and infection control demonstration, and student affairs slash career counseling. We're on the break now, and then when we go back, we have academic orientation, administrative documentation, and welcome back. And then in the afternoon, we unfortunately have a practice exam on like pharmacology and stuff. I'm not even worried about the fact that I'm not prepared at all because it's not counted towards the grade, thankfully. But I think it's just to get a vibe of what's going on. It was only like 25 questions. I thought it would be longer. It was okay. There were actually some things I, I'm pretty sure I knew the answer to, surprisingly. But um, for the most part, did not. I just cleaned up my apartment and took out the trash. And I'm about to water my plants before I forget to. But it's my friend's birthday. So we're having a little get together in my apartment. She doesn't know this, but we bought cupcakes and we're bringing her favorite snacks. But I'm gonna go meet her at the Starbucks as well as our other friends who are coming. Hey y'all. So it's about 9.30 p.m. Um, the little mini get together was pretty fun, pretty chill. We ate cupcakes, gave my friend a card and some hot Cheetos cause she likes hot Cheetos. And we went to Whole Foods and we were chilling on the balcony. And during that time I did have like a Zoom meeting. It was basically with the M3s giving advice to M2s about how to like approach studying and different resources and stuff and what works best for each course. And it was pretty beneficial. So now, I don't want to make the mistake of not starting work on time and then like trying to ease into the school year But in reality one thing about mescal is that it will hit you like a truck So I'm just trying to allow myself to be hit by the truck So even if I don't do much today, I want to at least do something If you've been watching my channel for a while now, you know that I use Anki But like it's not my first choice usually And one thing that we were learning in the meeting and stuff and during the presentations with the dean on how to approach studying for M2 is that M2 is a lot more standardized than M1. So in M1, at my school at least, the professors are the ones who are creating the questions. But as for M2, in order to better prepare us for step one, all the questions are standardized and BME questions. So because it's more standardized, it's not that you don't have to go to lecture and that you don't have to read the slides that the professors give you because let's say they give us four lectures on pneumonia, that means it's weighted pretty heavily on the exam. So we need to kind of know what the professors are talking about and how much they're talking about certain things so we know how to budget our studying and what has the most weight. But even within that, the questions are coming directly from the NBME. You do kind of need to know what's going on in class, but you can do a lot better if you use resources that are more standardized. And it's also important to start studying for step one from today rather than just studying during dedicated. So I'm going to try the On King deck. I'm pretty sure I had it downloaded already from last year, but I may have deleted it. I got my little laptop. I'm kind of like conflicted because I don't want to waste time with something that I know doesn't really work for me that well. But like at the same time, this could be like a really key resource for me now. So I'm gonna just try it out, see how it goes. So. Wish me luck. Good morning, y'all. Today's Tuesday, July 12th. It's a little before 10.30 right now, and I'm actually heading back to campus. We had a mandatory review lecture this morning. It was basically on like pharmacology and like receptors, basically. So now we had a little break. I'm heading back to campus to attend the two other lectures we have today, which are not mandatory. But I find that personally, for scheduling purposes, it's better for me to go to lecture, which is why I'm going. I spent most of last night kind of scrambling and trying to figure out what exactly is best for me 
resource wise because i feel like the approach with m1 versus m2 are so different and just trying to figure out what kind of workflow would work for me so i was kind of like panicking but i ended up watching all the basic pharmacology videos on boards and beyond which is something i know i liked last year so i think i'm gonna stick with that but it's kind of general so i need to find something that is less of an overview and also goes into details hey y'all it's giving a hot mess on so many levels right now the art on my wall has fallen so i guess i do not have this but i got home from the two remaining lectures today and they were actually pretty good okay so they were both under principles of pharmacology and the first lecture was entitled chemical aspects of drug action and the second one was drug receptor interaction and i'm honestly liking it so far the professor we had is really good she explains things in a very simple way it could also be that the part that we're doing now isn't that difficult it'll probably be more difficult tomorrow <laughs> but yeah i've been home for a while now i ate some lunch and if you're wondering what i had for lunch i had this palak paneer from whole foods this is what the packaging looks like and it honestly wasn't bad because you know whole foods usually the food is very mid but i'll give this a solid 6.5 out of 10. it's about 1 30 p.m now and my plans around three o'clock i have to meet my mentee through the med school we have this m2 m1 mentor mentee pairing type thing that goes on it's not mandatory but anyone who signs up can get a mentor or mentee and you kind of fill out information about yourself your hobbies where you went to undergrad organizations you did things like that just to see who's similar in what ways and give people the best mentor mentee match so i match with someone whose main similarity to me is that she also did the bsmd program and i've actually never met her in person so i'm really excited to do that we're gonna go get boba together but before that i'm going to continue working on some research because another thing about m2 that you have to navigate is with m1 the general advice is oh don't do any research during m1 plenty of people still do but like a lot of people say to just wait until the summer and then m2 you can start doing it during the year so i follow that advice and thankfully i'm continuing my research that i started at my internship this summer so the adjustment to m2 is also partially trying to juggle that as well and figure out how i'm going to work research and school into my schedule together i'm going to work on a literature review for one of the projects i'm doing for the next hour or so and then i'll go get boba and then i'll probably come back and then start worrying about school <music> Good morning. Morning. It's Wednesday. This morning they had a little welcome, um, what was it called? I don't know. I opening know. exercise. Yeah, something like yeah, that. Yeah, they had an opening exercise. Um, I was not in attendance. <laughs> I went last year. It was fine. I'll go again in M4. But oh. now we're heading to lecture. Okay, so in this particular uh, thing, you can actually see the binders that afternoon now i'm about to make lunch i wish i had something fancier to show y'all but for lunch today we're having indomie and if you don't know what indomie is it's basically ramen noodles except i believe it's indonesian they have a lot of these in nigeria so i got some water boiling on the stove right now i'm probably going to add like boiled eggs on the side probably add shrimp in the mix and then season it i might add um what do y'all americans call those peppers habanero peppers <laughs> to spice it up you know let's see how this turns out let me get some boiling eggs on the stove i think i'm only going to boil one egg for each of us because we're also having shrimp with this and it's all giving high cholesterol gotta try to be healthy out here in these streets at least somewhat what else do i have going on today later today i have a research meeting with my pi it's 2 54 p.m now how do i set the timer on this thing. Cook time. Start. Okay, I think I did it. I wanna show y'all something while these things are boiling. Okay, so earlier today between lectures, I went to the quiet study lounge and there they have like a whole stack of books that people are done with, that people are just giving away because they don't need anymore. And I was like, let me take advantage of this. I'm pretty sure I am allowed to steal the books from there. I'm like 80% sure. But anyway, they will eventually be returned nonetheless. It's not really stealing, it's just 
long-term borrowing, but I got a physical copy of the first aid book. This is the 2017 version. They did have more recent ones, but the reason I took this one was because I saw that it's not marked up. Like this book is giving fresh and I'm sure there isn't that much of a difference in the content. So got this for free. I just saved a lot of money. So I'm really excited about that find. I also got a Pathoma book, Fundamentals of Pathology. I've heard this book is good. This one is marked up, but it's still good to have. So I'm just gonna see how these things work for me and try it out. I feel like it would probably be better to more so use outside resources this year. And I did want to know, all the academic advice I'm giving at the moment is just me experimenting. Take anything I've said with a grain of salt because I haven't passed a single exam in my second year of medical school yet. So I'm just out here trying different things. But yes, I'm excited to start using those books. Y'all wanna know what I found out? Over the summer, my class and the class above me both did surveys about like which unit was the hardest and like the best resources to use. That way we can pass on those stats to the next year. So I was looking at the class above mine's results and they were saying like Pathoma was really helpful and stuff like that in first aid. So that's why I'm using them. But they also said that the hardest unit of the school year is the unit that I'm literally doing right now. It's called Organ Systems 1. OS1 is the hardest unit of the year. And I did not know that at first. Maybe I've been living under a rock, but I know now. I'm just ready to like brace myself to be slammed by a truck. I feel like a lot of it is probably just trying to adjust to the NBME style questions. I'm not going to speak to the M2 experience just because I've only been living it for three days. You know that thing that's like, oh, it's only my third day, day out here. Out here. Oh, yo, yo. <laughs> You're technically not supposed to leave food unattended while cooking, so I'm gonna head back to the kitchen. Unfortunately, when I set the timer on the stove, I pressed cook time instead of timer. So the timer didn't actually work. But luckily for me, I remember what time I put it on. 2.54 p.m. now. So in about like three minutes, I'm gonna take the eggs off and cool them down. It looks like the water is boiling for the Indomie. So one thing I do is I like to like break it apart within the packet. That way it cooks more quickly. I feel like we learned something like that in some sort of chemistry class at one point, but I'm assuming it somehow increases the surface area and makes it easier. I'm putting four packets. I feel like I should put three packets because I don't eat more than one packet, but maybe in efforts to not have to cook again later. I'll just put four. That's if I can open the four. I'm going to microwave this shrimp so it can thaw a bit. It's already cooked. Also going to add spinach. The eggs look like they're done cooling. I'm just trying my best to keep this watery, which is why I don't want to add the seasonings. I feel like once I add the seasonings, it's not gonna be as easy anymore. I'm pescatarian, so one of these things has like chicken fat in it. I'm trying to figure out which one. Okay, it's the seasoning powder. So this one in this side of the packet that I can't add in here, but I'm gonna add the fried onion and whatever these three things are. So yeah, I think I'm gonna do that and then like fry my mix of like spinach and shrimp and maybe, I don't know if we have onions. <laughs> whatever I wanna fry and add to it, I'll fry it on the side and then I'll like combine them. And I know that's not like the way I would typically do it, but we don't got options. So okay, we're adding the onions. making me starve. <laughs> okay, garlic powder. Okay, yes, add garlic powder. Okay, that looks good. Doesn't it? Throw a little, little drizzle over top, and then I'll stir it. Okay, we got the food here. Hey, tell me why I looked at the schedule and I like, I already knew this information, but like it just like hit me that there's a TBL tomorrow. TBL stands for team-based learning. So now I have to prepare for that. My research meeting was fine. Good morning. As you may be able to tell, I'm pretty tired today. It's about nine o'clock. There is a lecture at eight. I ain't go, but I'm dragging myself to the 9 a.m. one. After this lecture, we do have a mandatory TBL. So everyone in the class has to come. Last night I was reading the first aid 
book to supplement things I've been learning and try and solidify it. And I actually fell asleep while doing that. I literally woke up and then I see like my phone with my alarm. And then I also see my iPad, my laptop, and the first aid book. So I guess I was pretty tired, but I still am. But it's a new day. I'm excited to see what this year brings. And I will catch y'all later. Okay, so I just got back from the TBL. I know I'm in the study room in my apartment. I'm about to do some SGA position stuff real quick right now. And then I'm going to study a bit. We do have to go back to campus. Who is we? I still need to go. <laughs> I still need to go back to campus at like 1 o'clock. It's 11.47 a.m. right now because we have a mandatory introduction to clinical medicine course lecture. I don't know if it's a lecture, but either way, I know I have to be there. I'm excited for the ICM part. I think we're going to learn more about how to actually be a doctor and whatnot. So it's exciting, I guess. But I didn't go to my actual apartment because I fear if I go up there, I'm going to be tempted to not come back down. So I'm just staying in a neutral space right now. During the TBL, the professor was going through different practice problems and stuff. What I learned in that TBL is that I actually don't know as much as I thought I did. That's why I'm studying now. We have our first quiz on Tuesday. Today's Thursday. I'll survive. I'll be at it. I know I'll be at it. Hello. It's a little past 11.30 p.m. I've been reading Kaplan Step 1 prep books. The intro to clinical medicine thing was cool. I actually really enjoyed the introductory lecture that we had today. They just kind of talked about what we're doing in the class, how it's graded, stuff like that. They actually even showed us a couple videos. One of them was actually from the show House MD, and we were talking about what he did well, what he could have done better, like the core bedside manner and stuff like that and just trying to hammer in that we need to be compassionate as physicians trying to see the flaws and the way that physicians are perceived by people who aren't actually in the field but anyway since coming back i have been reading kaplan books specifically the usmle step one lecture notes pharmacology i know kaplan is not one of the more popular books to use for step one prep and if i'm being honest i do like the mcat kaplan a lot more than i like like this Kaplan just based off like the structure and stuff but I decided to read this because the thing with boards and beyond videos first aid is that it's meant for step one prep it's a review and the Kaplan book is also a review but I feel like it's more detailed I wanted to find a resource that is pretty similar in detail to our actual class lectures because the class lecture stuff is going to be fair game for the exams for example the step one book first aid had five pages Pages on pharmacodynamics and pharmacokinetics. Kaplan had over 20 pages on it. So I basically read the entire pharmacokinetics chapter as well as the majority of the pharmacodynamics chapter. I literally have like two and a half pages left, but the reason I stopped is because I can literally feel my brain shutting down and I'm kind of reading the same sentence over and over 12 times. So I think it's better I just go to sleep and pick up again tomorrow. And also with that, it comes with practice questions similar to the MCAT Kaplan books. So maybe tomorrow once I finish off this chapter, I'm gonna do the practice questions to try and test my retention. The school actually provided these Kaplan books and it also comes with the online resources and QBanks. So I want to use the Kaplan QBank to study, especially because we don't have UWorld yet. Our school does provide UWorld, but we probably won't get it for another few weeks. So in the meantime, I'm gonna use what I got. I might also use Exam Master, which is also a question bank website that school provides. I'm one of the people who learn best through doing practice questions, so I'm gonna try and work on that tomorrow and over the weekend. Good morning, y'all. It's Friday. Um, I think it might be the last day of this vlog, but it's about 10.30 right now. We have a TBL, another TBL, and that's all we really have academically today, apart from the lectures that were this morning. After that, I do have to stay back on campus for some time because I have three meetings to go to. 
one of them is a general body meeting for the class and the second one is an SGA meeting for both the M1 and M2 classes and then the third one is a MSA which is medical students for Africa meeting so I'll be there for a few more hours but I am excited for them hey y'all so I'm back home hey got my girl some tochi here hey everyone what you got to say so first week of m1 um, yeah she's m1 yeah mixed emotions <laughs> <laughs> i mean honestly it hasn't been too bad during the first couple days you know we got bombarded with a lot of work and honestly it's just mostly trying to adjust to this new lifestyle but i know that i'm gonna be able to do it and i know everyone in my class is gonna be able to do it and yeah let's see if there's another vlog and if i'm in it i'll give you guys another update so, Okay, so perfect. we'll see how stressed I'm looking by then. You see my face now. Let's see how my face is looking. Okay. Bye. Okay. Thanks, girl. Good morning, y'all. It's Saturday, July the I think it's the 15th or 16th or 17th. One of those days. But anyway, someone's making a lot of noise on the street. I'm chilling on the balcony. Honestly, I'm gonna go back inside once I finish filming this clip. But yesterday I pretty much took the night off. I spent most of it watching Love Island as well as Criminal Minds. And today I mostly want to focus on research, just catching up on that stuff. I'm not vlogging it, but the main reason I'm here talking to y'all now is just to close up the video so um bye